the media descended on the home of Noel and Shirley Sims on Friday. The Sims Colstworth home is the subject of a compulsory purchase order and highways agency set a deadline of noon for the couple to leave their property. Friends and supporters like recovery vehicle driver Adrian Johnson arrived to offer support and blockade the entrance in the hope of keeping the highways agency out. Yeah, how long have you known Noel for, Adrian? Uh, since last Friday. Right, is it, you just came with your recovery vehicle because it's got a business here? Right? No, basically, well, normally on a Friday night I get home and have a pint. Um, we see him on the news last Friday. I was that disgusted with the way he's being treated. I got in the car and come across. Yeah. And then as he said he was getting evicted today, so I'll come across, show him some support. Yeah. Do you think, uh, what do you think about the whole situation? How do you think he's been treated? Stinks. Absolutely disgusting. Why are they treating him like this? Why have you come here today? Just to show our support. You know, elderly couple, and just to let him know that he's not on his own. He's got plenty of support. We've got one gentleman who's even drove up from Norfolk today. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the recovery business sticks together anyway. If we have, if we see one person at the side of the road struggling, we'll stop and demand. Yeah. We're the first people to help in a situation. You know, we just you know, if pe everybody helps each other. You know, it'd be a lot better. Noel, 75, has been fighting eviction for almost 40 years. He refused requests to speak to the media on Friday. How long have you, have you known Noel for? Uh, well, I've known, it, known of him for a long time, but I've known him personally for about the last 10, 12 years. Right. Are you a neighbour, is that right? No, I live down the other end of the village, but uh, Noel's always been good to me and uh, looked after me and helped me a lot and everything. Have you been following the story then? Yes, yes, yes. What do you think? Situation. Well, I think it's bizarre. I think it's absolutely ridiculous what they're planning to do. I mean, if there's 20 houses along here and they had to come through one, then fair comment. But one house in the middle of all this open land is quite bizarre. He should be left alone. He should be just left alone. The bloke's worked hard all his life, not a penny off the state as far as I'm aware, and he's done his own thing. And to be trapped like this is disgusting. And you're here to show your support? I'm here to show my support, yeah, amongst others, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's criminal. At the end of the day, they could have gone 20 yards that way. 20 yards that way, you've got a portable cafe there, which could have moved. There's, I don't know how many acres of land for sale the other side. That site could have been extended that way a little bit. And I just think it's an absolute bizarre situation it's come to this. I really do. He's got a lot of support from the people? He has got support. He has got support, yes. Without a doubt. Without a doubt.